breakfast time. This is such an awesome, oh, I'm spilling my coffee. Such an awesome place to stay. Who wants big, shiny resorts when you can like stay in cabins in the jungle? Uh, we even got warned when we went to bed last night because we've got to walk down these trails to make sure you take a light because there are some venomous snakes around. Just a real sort of remote lizard experience. So excited for breakfast. I'm gonna leave Jack. Hello? What? It's Jack, isn't it? Yes, hello. Yes. Yeah. I had a, like, my brain went, what's your name? I'm going to leave Jack in peace to finish cooking breakfast. Uh, but it smells very good. I'm going to go and sit back by the pool. Thank you. Always. So this is the pool area. It's a very lovely spot. Yo! Morning all! Good morning. Are we ready morning. for the ruins? Oh, yeah. yeah? Ruins and caves. Swimming holes and whatnot. Oh. Right, get loaded up. of the tarmac so they're building a new road which is gorgeous tarmac sweepy and fun but these guys like the mud a little bit more but thankfully we have reached the end of the tarmac and we're now going to be heading into the jungle you can see the workmen up behind like they're literally building this road as we speak so um becoming slightly less rural but we've got a long way to go into the jungle so there's no risk of us not having some uh, Fun stuff to ride in. Woohoo! How's everyone doing? Great! Awesome! Yeah? Yes. How are you feeling on the bike? Amazing. Amazing? Amazing. Love it. Thank you. Rocking it. you have lunch. Gosh, look at the size of these trees. Oh, don't fall over. Look at the size of them and the caves. Wow. You just would never come here if you weren't on a bike, would you? Oh, look at that Tarzan swing right there. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, is that one of the walking trees? No, the one that's that walks. Doesn't that look like... <gasps> oh my... That's a massive cave. Oh my goodness. Wow, oh, that is colossal. We are going into the caves. Ooh. Gosh, the temperature difference coming in here.
We are at one of the most important Mayan ruins in Belize. Uh, the cave was colossal. This is the actual definition of the word colossal. Look that way. We're going up top. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh God, these are big steps. They're not hollow. Oh, this has uh, been repaired, it's been concreted. Oh, this couldn't be worse for my hip if it tried. Oh, we're nearly there. Five. Oh, oh, it's a false summit. Oh, no. Oh, but they don't know that. No, we're going to have to go to the top. Woo! On top of the world. We have climbed up on top of the ruins. There is jungle in every single direction. You can actually hear some the howling, howling monkeys in the background. They have a, apparently it's a territorial kind of howl. When two males come near each other, they start making, I don't know if you can hear it because it's quite windy up here. So you probably only just about can hear me. But listen, it kind of um, makes your skin all tingly, the noise of them, it's we're in the jungle. All the only thing that's missing is like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to walk across there. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but it's very Jurassic Park kind of feeling. Um, yeah, we rode the bikes here. Like we're in the middle of the jungle in Belize, and we rode here on motorbikes. And now we're seeing some of the like heritage and culture. This is one of the most important Mayan sights. Look at it. I'm gonna have a serious little moment of gratitude right now. This is amazing. Right, we're, we're going down. You're coming with me, right? What lives in bases of a mine? Oh, this is actually quite spooky. Oh, well, that's it. It doesn't go anywhere. What's that? Nothing, it's just a... Oh, this is the wine cellar. Yeah, this is, this is going to be steep to go down. Are we going to go forwards? Yep. Oh, we're synchronized. <laughs> Woo! A fruit store and we got a whole load of fruit I am carrying it for the group and now we are heading to the hotel on mass through the town it's always fun <laughs> Just getting my bags on the bike. Uh, we are on the road again today, obviously, on a bike trip, but we're changing locations where we're sleeping tonight. We are gonna go to another pretty rustic farm in the jungle or something apparently quite exciting. So I get my bags on. I've got some rock straps and some handy Australia straps, which are really good, massive Velcro things, it's solid. And then I'm gonna head and have some breakfast and we'll get riding. 
I'm always eating. I like eating. So that that's me for the morning. Okay, we've just hit a pretty technical bit. This is the easy bit. Up around the corner, it gets worse. So Susanna and I are gonna probably take the bikes up. Uh, we'll be able to ride back down it later, no dramas, but we just, when you're in the jungle, you don't take stupid risks. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some bike shuffles. Right. Ooh. I got it, I got it. Got it, got it, we got it. Woo. Let go of the clutch. It is. Why yeah. is it in neutral? It's not. Turn it off then. So, one thing, if it's suddenly you're going backwards, the best trick is to, to dump the clutch because then your rear wheel will just become a brake. But and it will stop you going backwards. It, you started rolling backwards, and at that first point going backwards, you either need to give it throttle to keep forwards or dump the clutch to then engine brake it. Just a tip for next time. But you've freaking done awesome. You're nearly at the top. What do you want to do? I want to get off. Okay. Maybe walk it up? Walk it up, I know. Fucking hot. Yeah, that was a workout. Okay, so we gotta get around the fence. So we ended here. I don't know if here. we can do that. No? This is new. Okay. So you're gonna get fucky ducky. Okay. And uh, spearhead us to... Night me! Ooh. Oh, that was quite violent. Fucky ducky! I've been ducked. <laughs> get ducked up. Um, so I just wanna do a tiny little Fred the Flamingo. I still love you and have a place in my life, but ducky is here in the jungle. I got the power of the duck! We got a group of badass ladies. We've all made it up. Made it through some pretty, like, washed out, rocky, you know those big cracks that, like, to attract bikes to ride in them. We've had quite a few of those. We've just met a T-junction. Actually, it's more of a Y. And uh, this way is looking not ideal, like pretty technical. Um, so for the group, you know, we want everyone to have a good time and be safe. So we're just scouting out the other route to see if it looks more doable and it's looking positive because at the end of this trail is a waterfall, which means all of this sweat can get washed away. Okay, so we got a situation. We found the broken bridge and the whole route to get there is doable by, doable by every single one of us. But it's going to take some thought, some slow riding and a little bit of a briefing now to give you a little bit of the skills that will help you survive that stuff. So the first part is a steep, rocky downhill, similar to the one we came up just now, but smoother, smoother but possibly a little bit steeper. So what we're gonna do is engines off, go down it. So the beauty of engine off is that you have your foot brake then becomes your handbrake. So when you have your clutch out, the engine braking means that your rear wheel isn't gonna spin. So, so you know engines you off with first gear. gear. Huh? Engines off with first gear. Yeah. So you leave your bike in gear, it doesn't roll, right? So when you're then engine off downhill, you have both legs to paddle and support you. 
You've got your front brake as you normally would, and then your handbrake becomes effectively your rear brake, but in reverse. When you pull your clutch in, it slips the clutch, which enables the bike to roll. So as you're going down, you're gonna pull the clutch in to let yourself roll forwards. If you freak out, you just let go of it and the engine will brake. Obviously you still have a foot brake and you can use it. And try not so to we're gonna use anywhere steep because you'll get scared and pop over. So Momentum is key. Let it roll, look up. Don't look down here. Don't look at any cracks. In front of you. I know some of us like cracks. We're not going for cracks now. <laughs> There's a And you will just cross. roll down it. You've just got to pick your line. And what we can do is make sure that um, one of us is in front of each of you so that it can help you not have to think about line. You can just follow the bike Two in front. Two follow her and two can follow me. And then I can be in the back. If you want to be in the back to help, it's fine too. We've got a slightly steeper, a little bit more tricky underfoot downhill here. We've just done a bit of a briefing on engine off downhill riding so that you've got the ability of engine braking and that kind of reverse clutch. I have gone through all the girls, they're feeling confident and the key thing is that I believe all of them can do it. And I think for me, when I'm riding and trying something new, having someone that can ride it, look at my riding and go, you can do it that belief really helps my confidence. So I'm really hoping that they're all feeling a little bit pumped. When they get to the bottom, the, the fear will pass and they should have a hell of a lot of satisfaction of having achieved it. So I'm gonna stand on the hill with Mr. Duck um, and we're gonna get the girls down one by one. Clutch out is a break. Clutch out is a break. You okay? Bike number two down. Awesome. Nice and steady. Well done. Absolutely all over it. Super steady. Remember, clutch out is the brake. Perfect. Oh my goodness, she's on fire! Woohoo! Okay? Ground. Uh, looks pretty intense. This is the the location that can never be shared. Um, oh, we're going in. There's not going to be any light, so I'm not going to be able to take you with us. come into like some pristine looking resort. Cool. 
riding along in the jungle and suddenly we're in this like gorgeous pristine resort uh we're gonna go in the restaurant and have some lunch and they have approved the dirty kit they're also gonna make an exception and let us go for a dip in their waterfall and uh cool down so i might not look like no i look like a sweaty mess i'm not gonna deny that i am a sweaty mess very much looking forward to the cooling of water and the removal of clothes hey pooch hi oh you are warm oh you want a tickle tummy tickle tummy i'm gonna go in and eat some food but you are cute Woo. this way wow beautiful a very epic location at lunch spot Big little rides, you nail it. Oh, hey buddy, is this your hometown? You got a cool home, buddy. With some serious jungle exploration, caves, waterfalls, swimming, ending up in an amazing resort, we've uh, made it into tonight's stop a little bit late, quite dark, but so proud of all the girls riding today. Massive thumbs up to Igle and Yoga who led it and are organising this tour. Absolutely brilliant. It's time to get the bags off the bike and get a nice fresh cold beer. Okay, the, the sun is only just up. We're trying to work out whether Emma has taken her boots or someone else's boots in the darkness of the room. But in more important things, the jungle is waking up. And over here, I don't know, uh, where's, where are you looking? There? There? Over there somewhere. There are four big animals waiting for us. And uh, it's going to be a good pre-day activity activity. Let's just say that. Should we go get some coffee and then find our animals? Yeah. And you'll find out what the animal is. Oh, oh the jungle is just incredible. Oh, that feels so good, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double roll. Does he say Charlie? Charlie, yes. Cool. No, the only thing is he doesn't like stuff hanging off of the sand. Okay. okay. Is my jumper on my waist all right? Yeah, uh, yeah on your waist it's all right. But okay. like on the saddle horn, he doesn't like that. For some reason. Well, I know okay. why. My little brother, when we were training them. Hey, he left, Charlie. He left a huge backpack hanging on his side. With, um, he's good. Oh, that's really long. I right. Just, I just laid over. Thank you. You're I'm British? on a horse. Yeah, I'm British. It's time to see the beast. We've got the day off today, and so we decided it was about time to upgrade the horsepower. <laughs> we are on horses. Happy Vanessa. How cool is that? Motorbikes, house, horses. We are off-roading in the jungle. 
Good boy, Charlie. I'm glad you've got strong footing. That is muddy. Pretty gnarly terrain. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. You got it. Yeah, this would be pretty intense on the bikes. Good boy. Oh, look how deep the mud is. Oh, good boy. Clever boy, you went round. Riding out into the jungle. It's a pretty thick jungle. These horses know what they're doing though. They um they can actually think for themselves. So on a motorbike I'd have to like pick the line and make sure I'm going the right way. Whereas he's just like, yeah, I know where to put my feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We are on top of the jungle right here. Wow. Oh, I love that. They can just release and he's off. Bye bye. You're going to go down to the river. Oh, what an amazing life. Mm -hmm. yeah, Bye, Charlie. So happy over here. Cheeky morning horse ride complete. We're now going to have some breakfast. And I believe it's boat life today. It's going to be on a boat. <laughs> Just did a little walk up the hill to get signal. And the little pooches, hi, they came with me to keep me safe. We are deep in the jungle, so there's no communications here. But I managed to get enough signal. Just to let husband know that I'm doing all right. And all is safe. Keep dogs. Cruising around on the riverboat, we just pulled up at pretty spectacular waterfall. Only way to describe it. crocodiles one quite big and then we swam in it but I'm still alive so the crocodile didn't eat me but my little heart was expecting a crocodile at any moment yeah we are in the depths of the jungle we've got J oh don't fall in the river we've got Jane and Tarzan coming up behind with the duck and I'm falling over in the rocks the deep bit basically we are off the pontoon boat and we're going for a little hike about a thousand feet and we're going to get to a waterfall uh, and this is the Rio Frio river and you can tell why it's got that name when you put your feet in it because it's cold That was absolutely epic. I wish I'd taken a GoPro or something. We went into the back of the bottom of the waterfall and then we held Mowgli's arm and he was, he just basically said, if you go in, water this like this, rock like this, you'll be able to breathe. And it was like so intense. All that water coming down your head and just pulled in and then there you were. You could breathe. It's absolutely invigorating and so, ah, uh, yeah. Heading back to the boat now. Absolutely wicked day on the riverboat. Totally expedient. 
my expectations. I was sort of thinking sitting around on a boat might be a bit dull, but waterfalls, swimming, climbing rocks, jungle swings like Tarzan, barbecue on a beach, awesome company. That was really, really cool. Back on the motorbikes tomorrow and we are going to be doing, well, two of us are going to go and do a little bit of an explore on some cheeky trails around here in the jungle that she's never ridden before. First thing while the other sleep and then we're going to be all hitting the road and heading back towards Hopkins. Uh, I think we might have a cheeky swim spot, we'll see. I'm not fully sure on the brief but I can pretty much say with certainty it's going to be another awesome day in Belize with a bunch of wicked girls. So right now I'm going to go get some dinner, get to sleep and get up for tomorrow.